this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. So is that the right one this time? Yep. Well, how's she going today, everybody? Well, I did what some of you said I should try and do, and I waxed the hood on the old freight liner here. You can see the difference there. I didn't do the cab because I, uh, I just have a uh, my buffing wheels just a little one that goes on a drill so by the time i was done the hood it pretty much killed the poor little guy but <laughs> it's quite a bit shinier anyway i wouldn't say it's uh like new or anything but you can definitely see everywhere that's had paint touches touch-ups in the past but i'd like to paint the whole thing one day but anyways today's project Antoine's working on the uh, universal joints yet and dad's welding up a frame because they're gonna put a window in the box here. I don't know if some of you guys have seen before but a plexiglass window and then when you're in the truck you can see if you're centered with your auger or what have you and then when it's cold outside you can sit in the truck and watch as it fills up. Right Juan? Would be nice he says. But my battery is dead. I'm gonna get a new one. And I'll show you what I'm working on over here. So this cab has quite a bit of rust in some spots on it, thanks to being in Saskatchewan or Canada. And I guess the uh, Northern United States. And they uh, <clears throat> put salt on the roads for ice. And that's new. <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta fix that now too. <laughs> hmm. So, there's quite a bit of rust on the cab corner. This side isn't bad. But you can see the door here has got a big bubble. I don't know if I'm gonna go after it or not right now, but this side over here is the worst spot and where the cabs welded to the uh, the frame and mechanism yeah, well you can see what's left here I cleaned it up already knocked all the loose stuff off but I just started with the wire wheel here spots like this I'm just gonna put a little bit of bondo because that's not a really load bearing spot there but here I'm gonna have to try and do something a bit different and then on the back here we're gonna weld a new piece in since well that's what's holding the weight of the cab so that's what we're working on so we'll talk to you again here in a bit There you go. Let me show them the big hole. <laughs> Look at that. Gross. Do some commentary, hon. Yeah. No? <laughs> now I don't know if we're going to have any crowns, but...
it's hard shit to weld. <laughs> there you can stop. Look at that. Made to measure. I gotta say, fuck do I impress myself sometimes. Nice! Wire wheel that? You'll never even know. Mint. Mint. Hey Ryan, what do you think? Mint. Oh wow, gotta like that. Just a beautifully clean cut. Here, show the nice people. Well, let me get it. Oh, I can hardly oh. move it. Wow, that's good for you. How about it then? Oh. Look at that Princess Auto special work. Take two and it worked. <laughs> There, well I've got that painted and primed, and then this side here is just primed because I've got some sanding to do, but a little bit of bondo on the corner there and a little bit more down here. Uh, I'm going to leave it set overnight, and then uh, around here too, there's a little bit, and then tomorrow of course we're going to make a strip for on there. Dad got his... Window in place. Can you see that? <whistles> Fancy. But <clears throat> anyway, it's supper time, so I guess I'll talk to you again in the morning. Alrighty, couple days later, uh, we've got the patch on the back here, welded on the best we could. We had to be careful because it's trying to light the cab on fire on the inside. <laughs> but we got it on and I smoothed it with Bondo a little bit and I've got primer on it, so I think it's not too bad anyway. It's good enough. The old girl. And then I got this one in here all painted already, so looks pretty snazzy. But Antoine's gone to uh, pick up a few more parts for this old girl. I got a blower motor and everything for it yesterday, so when he gets back, we'll put that together and we should be done this project. So I guess we'll talk to you again here in a little bit. Give the people what they want. Watch Antoine put ducting back together. Right, Twan? Sure. <laughs> anyway. 
Pond's got most of the dash put back together in here. I got the fan all set together and then he fucking wired her up. That took a little while because nothing made sense for a while. Right, Twan? Had to use some John Deere parts, yeah. <laughs> we ordered resistors and only one came. The bag was ripped open, one was missing. But luckily the John Deere had another one, so that was kind of convenient. <laughs> but anyway. Break it now, that's probably worth five grand. <laughs> See if I can do this watching the screw through oh, the camera. Way, no, not quite. Anyway, we're going to get this set back together and we'll talk to you again in a minute. Well, I will anyways. He probably won't. Give <laughs> me that all again. Why? Just, just do it. Just let your anger out again. Well, just, just like how you told me. Just factory wires cut off and that. Hell of a wiring job. And again. The only way it'd be better is if it had them little blue cut the wire in half clippy things in there. Yeah. The instant electrical issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well, I don't hardly even remember where I left off the last part of the video, but everything's all back together in here. Moves a bit of air, not a hell of a lot, but probably as good as it ever did. And then uh, we put this switch in here. I'll show you what that's for. We need a connector, a little connector for it. We don't have one, so we have to run to town and get one here in a bit, but I'll show you what that does. Got everything all painted. <whistles> nice. And back here, there's some stuff going on. So that switch runs that light there, so when you're backing up to the auger at night time, you can see. Antoine's putting a piece of rubber on up there, belting, I'll show you when it's done, but to, uh, there's a bit of a gap up there that'll prevent water from getting in. Dad's plasma cutting off a chunk of the box here, because when we made our hitch on there, we never really noticed, but that just hits it when it comes down, so he's going to trim that off of there and then it won't be an issue anymore that way. But we're going to finish that and we got a little bit of a project to do in the box and that'll be it, but I'll show you what what here when he's done and that's probably where I'll, end. I'll uh, leave you for now anyway. <laughs> Can't see it. <laughs> Twan aired it up with the air compressor, but he didn't quite uh, fill it right full there. My park brake kicked off again. We're not aired right, right up, but we got the big door open, so I'm not going to sit here and idle for very long. But, that's the freight liner all done. I forgot to show you the inside of the box, I'll show you here when I park it, but. Yeah, everything's all put back together on her, so that's pretty nice. 
I even got new seat covers for the old girl. Antoine's got the International running. We're gonna run it in next. It uh, it doesn't need much. We gotta look at the, I don't know if the fan's plugged up with chaff or what, but it doesn't hardly move any air anymore. It's still like it running full bore, but not moving much wind. And then uh, I'll probably just wait for him to move and I'll go there, but it's uh, not moving any wind anymore. And then we gotta change the engine oil in it and put in those headlights that one of you awesome guys sent to me. It's actually for that old pig over there, but it's gonna be a long while before it sees the road, so I'd rather see those lights get put to use than sit on a shelf for a year or so. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot how much this thing doesn't turn. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a minute when I get the old girl parked. Alrighty. Look at that nice red switch for the backup light. Fancy. Anyway, it's uh, snowing like a son of a gun out here. Look at that nice patch job. Factory. And then I put a strap on there so we can hold our grain shovel in place instead of it riding in the passenger seat. There. Not bad, eh? So, there you have it. One truck, ready to go. Look at that nice backup light. Cover on it and everything. Anyway, I'm gonna head back in the shop because it's 30 below right now and the snow slowed down a little bit. It was snowing a lot more than this a few minutes ago, but I'm gonna run back in the shop and wait for Antoine to get back and start working on that truck. So, I guess, thank you much for watching. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. We'll talk to all you guys in the next one.